everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia Ali, and if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I feel like I have to say a big disclaimer if you saw by the title of this video. I'm going to be talking about what people don't tell you before you major in psychology and maybe why you shouldn't pick that major. As a disclaimer, I'd like to say that I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want to offend any like psych majors because I was one too and I loved it just like a lot of people do. So um, this is not to be offensive. This is just to give like my opinion and my advice. In my opinion, you might not agree with it and you might be like, whatever, I'm going to major in that anyways. Or maybe you did major in psychology and you had a completely different experience than me, so that's fine. But this is just my personal experience, so please don't get offended. I'm just going off my personal feelings because I have a lot of feelings towards psychology as a major. Okay, so when you first start college, your first two years, you usually take a lot of gen eds, right? Like your communications, like English, and you usually take Psych 101. And in Psych 101, they teach you all these really cool things like about Freud and Skinner, and it's super interesting. And you're like, wow, this is amazing. Like you're learning all about the brain and you're learning about how people think and different disorders. And you're like, this is so cool because it is so cool, right? And the professors really make you like it. You know, they tell you all these cool stories and then they tell you, you can become a therapist and you can work with criminals and you can work with children and you can do this and that. And they get you really into it. You're like, wow, like this is an amazing major and it's science-based typically. So this could be a really good job. Like I could make good money. It's not something that I love that won't make me money, right? But you're like, it's science-based. You can become a doctor with it. You must be able to make a lot of money with it, right? So you pick that as your major, at least that's how it happened for me. I was like, wow, this is so cool. And I picked it as my major. And then you go on to your higher level classes and your higher level classes are awesome. They're even better than the level 100 classes. You take like social psychology and like forensic psychology and all these really cool stuff. And you learn really, really interesting things. And it's amazing. And it's really interesting. Like you compare what your classes you're taking to people who are taking maybe like an accounting major or business major who are doing things that you might think are kind of boring and then you think of your classes in your day and you're like wow all day I learned I was in the lab like dissecting a pig which is what I had to do one day or you're like oh I was talking about the brain all day or I was talking about Skinner and Freud and it was really interesting and it is really interesting like I said so that happens it's not like you take your higher level classes and they become more boring it's kind of the opposite they become way more interesting and you learn really a lot more but then the problem arises. Once you reach your 300 to 400 level classes, your teachers start to talk to you more about post-grad and what you can do and the future of a psych degree and all this kind of stuff. And that's when at least I discovered that if I really wanted to do what I wanted to do in psychology, which was interview prisoners or like do research or work as a therapist, any of those big things that like really made you want to pick psychology as a major in the first place, you're gonna have to get your PhD. So I kind of knew that my first two years, I kind of knew, yeah, you're my, most likely gonna have to get your PhD, but I didn't know that 100%, if I wanted to do anything in psychology that was really cool and interesting to me, I'd have to get my PhD. That's something I did not know, picking psych as my major. And you might be thinking like, okay, well, that's your fault, you're stupid, you should have looked it up. And that's true, I should have, and that's my problem. But I feel like a lot of people don't know that when they first pick psych as their major, that a lot of the things that you think are really interesting about psychology, like becoming a therapist and all those really cool things that I said, you have to get your PhD for. And a lot of people don't want to get their PhD. It's a lot of money, it's a lot of time, and it's a lot of work. It's not something that's like, super easy to just do. But that's one of the main things I feel like a lot of people don't know, picking psychology as their major. If you want to do something really cool in psychology, right, research or anything like that, you're most likely going to have to get your PhD. And that's kind of unfortunate for people who don't want to get their PhD. So then you're thinking, okay, I just won't get my PhD. Like I'll just get my bachelor's in psychology and I'll go from there and I can find a job. You can definitely find a job in psychology bachelor's, but it's probably not the job that you thought you were going to have when you first pick psychology as your major. Like there are some jobs you can get closely related to psych, when you graduate with that degree, you can become like an ABA, which is like a behavioral technician, working with children with um, disorders or autism and stuff and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. You could do that. You could also maybe work as a research assistant and work your way up. But the really cool stuff that you really want to do, people are most likely looking for a licensed psychologist 
like if you want to become a psychologist licensed psychologist do all those amazing things that i've said you have to get your phd and a lot of the really cool stuff that you want to do in psychology you might not be qualified for because you only have your bachelor's so that's one of the main reasons i think a lot of people should just think about picking psych as their major because there's really not that many jobs you can do with just a bachelor's in psychology that you might want to do that are related to psych that's not to say you can't get a job in a different field like i know a lot of people that once they major in psychology they get a job completely unrelated to psychology which is totally fine because that happens to people in all different kinds of majors but you can get like a lot of job listings postings will have a business job or a sales job or a marketing job where under education you can have a psychology degree and you can get that job but what i think about is in my perspective why would it feel like why would somebody hire an employee who had a psych major for a business job when they can hire someone with a business degree that's just how i feel about it but you can still get jobs with a psych degree this is just more to let you guys know that those amazing things those amazing jobs that you might have wanted in psych you're most likely not going to be able to get because they require you to get a phd and you guys might be thinking that you already knew that and this is just you're like girl i already know whatever but this is just to let you guys know because i wish somebody had made a video letting me know this and i maybe wouldn't have picked this as my major i mean i don't regret picking it because it's an amazing major but it's a lot to know so whenever people ask me now if they should major in psych or if i liked it i say i loved psychology the classes are amazing you learn super interesting stuff but i wouldn't suggest picking it as your major like when my little sister was picking a major and she was asking me about psychology because she took psych, psych 101 and she thought it was really interesting i was like no don't pick it as your major i don't recommend it and i don't think you should do it and it's not that easy to get your phd you might just think okay i'm just gonna get my phd in psychology and i'm just gonna become a psychologist and that's amazing that's great but there's a lot of things to consider i mean phd is a lot of money and not only that it's very competitive to get your phd especially in psych like if you want to get your phd in clinical psychology which is like one of the broadest um field in psychology it's super competitive at least at my college it was they only accepted a handful of people every year you have to have like amazing grades and great reference letters and recommendations and all this stuff and if you are really determined to do that and become a psychologist and do all those amazing things as jobs that you wanted to do before then you should definitely go for it and do it but i just think a lot of people who pick psychology as their major don't realize how they don't realize that all the amazing stuff they're learning in class and all the amazing stuff that the teachers are telling them they most likely won't be able to do as a job because they're not going to get their phd and that's just unfortunate because it's kind of like you feel a little duped like in the beginning like in psych 101 i wish it was more emphasis on if yeah this is great and amazing and interesting but if you want to do a b or c you have to get your phd and i wish if i were teaching a psych 101 class that'd be the first thing i said would say i would be like you guys this is amazing stuff really cool really interesting it's a great job great career but keep in mind that if you pick this as your path you most likely will have to get a phd to do any of the things that i'm talking to you guys about but they don't really tell you that at least mine didn't and i think it's because they want you to pick psychology as their major because that's their major that was their major when they were in college and it's really interesting and they they got their phds or else they wouldn't be teaching you so they're like you can do it and you can it's just a path that you have to be sure you wanted to take and i wasn't sure i wanted to take that path and so i didn't do it didn't get my phd in it another thing that's really cool is like people in psychology when you tell people when you go out when people are like oh what's your major and you're like psychology people are like whoa that's so cool and interesting because most of the people you meet their major is like business or sales or marketing and finance and stuff like that which is not uninteresting but but maybe just a little uninteresting to me but a lot of people are like wow psychology that's so cool like read me like give me a diagnosis and stuff like that that's like the first thing people say when you tell them their major is psychology and you're just like that's not how it works but it's like a really interesting and it's a, it's a conversation starter and when you meet up with your friends and they're like oh i just had like to do excel all day in my marketing class or excel all day in my finance and i did really boring stuff you're like well i did this that and the other and i learned all about the brain and how you think and relationships and friendships and family and it's really cool like you learn really cool stuff so the basis of this video isn't to discourage people to not pick psychology as their major but it's just to inform you guys that 
if you decide to choose this path, this is what's going to go on and this is what's going to happen. You learn a lot of interesting things. The classes you take are amazing. The professors I had in psych were amazing. You write research papers and do really cool assignments. It's not like busy work like you do in maybe a math class or stuff like that. You learn really cool stuff and that's the best part of it. And it's not that crazy hard. Like if you were taking physics or like calculus or something, that, which is really hard to me, they don't have to take all those really hard classes in psychology. There's definitely a lot of benefits, but one of the major things is that like I've been saying, it's not the easiest to get a job in and if you don't get your PhD in psychology, it's kind of unlikely that you'll get a job you really wanted in the field of psych with a bachelor's in psychology. I feel like this was kind of a bummer video because I just wanted to be honest with you guys and let you guys know because I feel like nobody talks about this and nobody says maybe you shouldn't pick this or maybe you should pick another route or this is what's going to happen to you and I feel like people should talk about it more because if people knew more, maybe they would make a dis different decision. Like people need to have all the information to make the decision. And I didn't have all that information. I didn't know anybody majoring in psych at the time when I was picking my major and no professors really told me that. So I didn't have that information. So I just wanted to tell you guys this. I've been wanting to make this video since I started my YouTube channel. So I hope this helped some people. I don't, once again, I'm not trying to offend anybody. If people love psychology or they love their major, that's totally fine. And it's up to you. And it's different path for everybody. Maybe I had a completely different experience than you, but that's just like how I feel about the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like these sit down videos. I've been doing these more. It's just more fun to me to talk to you guys. Like I'm just talking to one of my friends, but if you guys like this video, please go subscribe and like and leave a comment down below what kind of videos you want to see me do next. And I will see you all next time.